Sir, will you please stop staring at me? Where's the rest of you? Unity. Hi. Um, I'm gonna make a little record finds video with my buddy Ryan's here. It's Ryan. Um, yeah, we went record shopping today and I got quite a bit of stuff. And uh, about $35 worth of records. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot for him. That's, that's a lot for me. And uh, yeah, I, he forgot to bring his. But, well, I didn't uh, really okay. <laughs> long story. Anyway, I'm gonna show mine and we'll show his in the next video, hopefully, if he's here. But uh, if you haven't guessed by now, we're listening to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Um, this is one of the first albums I actually bought. It's an original, not one of the repressings, but I mean, it was one of the top albums ever sold, so that's not really a big thing, I guess. The top album ever sold. <laughs> yeah. Well, I say Adele or One Direction is going to pass it soon, right? Yeah, a little boy, 14 year old boy band from England. I don't know, man. I think that thing's gone like a billions now. So. I listened to One Direction and Adele. Adele, this is alright. Adele actually has some talent. I don't even know what she has Wonder talent, but is. I just didn't like it. It was too poppy. The music sucks, but she actually Not the music one? She has a good voice. Yeah. Kind of like. I uh, gave it a chance fairly, and I didn't like it. But hmm. it's not that bad. I um, don't even know what a One Direction is, so you have to help me a little I'm going to leave it up to you. What should I start with? Cassettes or vinyl? Vote now. We won't see it until the next video, though. Alright, you guys selected vinyl. Alright. <laughs> Um, we're gonna start. Um, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. Uh, the first thing, if you don't remember a few videos ago, I showed my, uh, Hearing Aid compilation with, uh, Stars, and it was all the 80s guys, it was like their Live Aid. And, when I got it, I knew it had a little tiny scratch on the first song, which was Stars, the song you'd buy that for, but I didn't think it'd affect it, and it really did, and it was bugging me, so I went out, and I bought the 12-inch single for Stars. Um, it's got who's singing what part there. I've already shown it. it. It's just the main song from that compilation. But it was bugging me, and I like that song. And this comes with two different versions, the shorter and the longer. So, yeah, that's that. Um, then I got this a uh, few weeks ago. And I was just listening to this earlier. Genesis Three Sides Live in amazing shape. And this is the... There, I think it's Atlantic... Yeah, Atlantic. It's not the Charisma Pressing. I gotta get one of those eventually. Cause who doesn't want his thousand Mad Hatters in their collection? But yeah, that was a good find, and I really like it. I've been getting into a lot of Genesis, but only their non-Peter Gabriel stuff. Can't stand Peter Gabriel for some reason. I don't know why. And they were better as a trio. This next one's the biggest investment I've ever made in vinyl in my life. But, and if you've been on the Facebook boards today, you know that I've been posting about this. But I went out and I spent the money on Iron Maiden and Vivo. It's not cover Ryan's face there. But, uh, yeah. yeah I'm not going to take it out because you guys have seen the picture disc before from some other people who have got it. But I was listening to this and it was great. I mean, I've, I, people were saying how picture discs don't have that great, of, or, uh, great of sound quality. And it, I, I mean, it was a little quieter. Then some of my other albums, I'd turn the volume up a little more, but it was good other than that. Nothing to play about, no cracks or pops. Um, this next one, one of the fathers of Prague. Yes, this album has a uh, owner of a lonely heart on it. This is their biggest charting song, went to number one. Um, fun fact about this album, it's called. 90125, it was named after the record pressing number. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward silence. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a lot of 80s Heart lately. I have their 85 self-titled album. Uh, awkward, awkward, awkward. There it is. <laughs> this one and I really was surprised by it I didn't realize heart was that like 80s hair sounding hair metal sounding almost but I found this in a record bin today for 50 cents it's their 87 album heart bad animals and uh thought I'd go for that 50 cents 
Even if it's the worst album we ever made, I paid 50 cents for it. This next one, I've been needing to get for a while. This is Genesis, not as a trio, but still without Peter Gabriel. And as a, a trick of the tail, one of the best prog albums there is. Yeah, I've been getting into a lot of Genesis lately. You like Genesis? Yeah, I do. What's your favorite album? The first one you had. Oh, Invisible Touch? Yeah. Yeah, that's still my favorite album. That actually was the first record that you and I sat down and listened to. Like, yeah. Ever. Yeah, we sat down, we put on my record player, we put on two sets of DJ headphones yeah, and just sat down on the couch and just, just like just zone for this 45 awesome. minutes. Yeah. This next one I bought because it was 50 cents and I looked at the vinyl and it had a big scratch in it and I was like, eh, I don't need it. But then I bought it just to put in one of my record frames, which I'll have up in a few weeks. But it's artwork now, ACDC High Voltage. It's not in very good shape, but I did look at it a second time, and it probably will play through, actually, so I'm still going to use it for artwork, but I'll try to play it once. I got your 50 cents worth good. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I go burn this, it's worth 50 cents to see it burn, but I won't. I love ACDC. My dog loves ACDC. You guys know that if you watch my videos. <laughs> Where's Philip? Uh, he's out there. That's the, that's the world we're in, where I can post videos where people know that my dog likes ACDC. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have 30 subscribers, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but tell all your friends to subscribe to me. Once I get to... I'm not gonna... Jesse has it at 100 already. If I get 50, I'll have a 50 subscribers contest. I don't need 100. Who needs 100? I can deal with 50. Close group will be like a little family. Might be my favorite. This one right here. Yeah, this one. I mean, gosh darn it! Man. I'm gonna say something very controversial right here, and probably lose half my subscribers. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like Led Zeppelin very yeah. much. I mean, I can deal with them a little bit, but and just in case you, yes, I did say I don't like Led Zeppelin very much. I like a few songs. They're all right. I mean, I like them enough to have an album in my collection for when I listen to it once a year. But I found this today for a couple bucks. In through the outdoor. And, Have you listened uh, to it yet? No, I haven't listened to it today. I just got it today, so I don't know. Cold in the Rain. Great song. Eh. I love it. It, it. It's mostly that I don't like Robert Plant's yeah, voice. Yeah. I, I don't like his voice. Which I guess is the reason people love that band, but mm -hmm. I don't like Led Zeppelin. You're not going to finish on that note, are you? No, I have 15 minutes before oh, YouTube okay, tells yeah. me I can't put up a video. All right, this next one. I've been wanting this for a long time. And I finally found one. I think it was like seven bucks. But Ingve Marching Out, Rising Force. Uh, you probably know them best for their song Heaven Tonight. Let's not cover Ryan. But one of the greatest shredder guitarists of all time. Oh my God. Definitely has the biggest ego of oh all time. God. <laughs> Kid goes on for days, dude. Oh, this next one I found for a dollar. And I haven't listened to it yet, but I've heard a lot of these guys. And I know it's going to be great. Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, this is the album Bookends, but... I mean... I don't even know what you can say about these guys. Except they're awesome. Excellent harmonies. Oh, simple. You, you talk about... You, you like Simon and Garfunkel. You talk about it a lot. I... Simon and Garfunkel, a lot of memories of these guys. Um, my dad's actually, like, my dad loves metal, all that stuff, but this is his favorite band, which which kind of surprised me. Very simple guitar, um, very simple melodies. You can kind of pick out Paul Simon's, um, his phrasing is quite simple. Oh, <clears throat> hold, hold it up. Um, as long as we got in here, I'm just, like, reading it back here. Mrs. Robinson, great song. Hates you to what? God, dude, this is a great record. I don't have this one. Yeah, very simple, excellent harmonies, beautiful music. I love these guys to death. They might be one of my favorite bands of all time, and I got one too today. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking at a record I have on the wall, and this when I bought this rec when I bought this when I bought this record player. This album came on it, and I listened to it once, and I enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite thing, but I enjoyed it. But I listened to it again a few days ago, and then I put it back on the wall because it didn't have a 
case. It just came on the record player. But I'm going to recommend this. Almost solely because of the guy's name, if you guys can still hear me. And the label. This is on Parrot. And I'm sure you guys know that, but I don't. And the guy's name is Engelbert Humperdinck. No. And this album is called The Last Waltz. And I really enjoy... I mean, I enjoyed this. I don't usually listen to this kind of music, but... Put the label up there one more time. Dude, Humperdinck. Engelbert Humperdinck. From The Princess Bride. <laughs> Prince Humperdinck. But... Prince Humperdinck. What year was this? I love that movie. Yeah, Parrot Records. I, I haven't really heard of them. Cool label, though. Don't know what year this is, but... Hey, I'll count this as a vinyl find. It was good. It stays nice on my wall, so I have access to it. Yeah. All right. Um, one last one before we get to my cassettes, and we're at ten minutes, so I gotta hurry. But I found this for a dollar. Whiplash Smile by Billy Idol. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say off this album is I'm gonna read the back for you. There's a picture of the back. And I actually been listening to a lot of Steve Stevens, the guitarist for Billy Idol. He's worked with him a lot of his work. He's done some solo albums, and he's really good. He's underrated. But I'm the only part about this album I'm gonna read for you is off the inner sleeve, and it'll sum up the album for you. It's right there. But it says, "This ain't no white wedding. This ain't no rebel yell. This ain't no middle midnight hour. This is a whiplash smile." So that's what that album's about. If that sounds appealing to you, you go pick up that album, you'll like it. I'm gonna go through my cassettes. Sweet. While I turn up the Michael Jackson. Mikey. Um, found these over the last few weeks. Bon Jovi, New Jersey. It's great. I mean, I like cassettes just because I plan on getting a cheap car and I can play cassettes on them. Ryan's getting out some ale. <sighs> Come over here. You think it's you not a twisty, dude. They're mature. They can see that you're drinking. We are drinking Perry Ace Hard. Perry Hard Cider. I actually like this stuff. It's very, very good. The only Ryan, one you know, we'll let you do a little review on this in a second. We gotta get All this right. thing under 15 minutes. You're just gonna sit there and like. Bon Jovi, like Bon Jovi, New Jersey. I'm gonna put this right there so they remember. <laughs> uh, I gotta get this on vinyl pretty soon, but Queens are like Empire. Don't have that on vinyl yet. Another one I need on vinyl, but I don't have is. Poison, open up and say ah. Need this one on vinyl too. Theater of Pain by Motley Crue. Um, this band, I mean, this people say they suck. They're one of my favorite bands of the '80s. Winger. If everybody didn't like them so much because of Beavis and Butthead, why are there no used vinyls out? Either one person loves them and is keeping them all, or everybody secretly kept their Winger when they said they threw it away. And then, uh, Winger, In the Heart of the Young. Yeah, that's all I got for today. I'll review this. I've been listening to this. Paul Gilbert, get out of my yard. It's sitting right here. I'll show you it. Um, Love it to death. Great instrumental mm -hmm. album. Very underrated guitarist. Plays with Mr. Big and Racer X. And, uh, I guess that's it. We will... One more thing. Oh, hurry up. I don't know what it's called. The label for A Night at the Opera has a butterfly on it, like like a multicolored butterfly. It's, it's one of the coolest labels I've seen. You guys will probably Comment know on it. this video. What label is under A Night at the Opera by, by Queen. Queen? You guys will know it. Top, top of your heads. I looked yes. at it for about a half a second before I came over to Dustin's. I'll figure it out as soon as I get Yeah, he bought a lot of Queen today. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's all we have for you today. And uh, let you get back. Two and a half men. Man. Ah!